Nike predicted the golf industry's biggest downfall. In this video, let's find out how Nike predicted the golf industry's biggest downfall. Stay tuned to find out how Nike predicted the biggest downfall in golf and what they decided to do. Nike resisted for more than 10 years before deciding to give up on the equipment industry and instead focus on other aspects of its booming business. Remember that Nike shuttered its falling ice hockey operation, known under the name Nick Bauer, in 2007. The choice was made 13 years after the biggest sports equipment manufacturer in the world entered the hockey market by acquiring the Canadian firm that makes Bauer skates and other gear. Nike took a similar course and shocked many in the golf industry by closing its equipment division. Due to the company's decision to stop producing clubs, balls and bags, sponsorship agreements with professional golfers like Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods are in doubt. The company declared that moving forward, it will put more emphasis on its areas of strength, which are footwear and apparel. Do you think Titleist and Callaway executives lamented the plight of the golf industry when they heard about Nike's decision? In the end, it's the correct choice. The decision which Woods and McElroy both bemoaned had the sad outcome of hundreds of workers losing their jobs. Some commentators, particularly in the media, have asserted that Nike's withdrawal is another indication of golf's impending extinction. Without providing relevant and crucial context, they will attempt to link it to Woods' absence or data showing that participation is down and course closures are rising. The number of players in the game now is in fact lower than it was at the height of Woods' popularity when a sizable portion of the population discovered golf. Additionally, more courses have closed than opened since then. But this is a normal industry correction following the development boom brought on by the Tiger. However, overall rounds in the US are up this year mainly due to favorable weather, and youth participation has grown. Look no further than Woods' ranking of 647 in the official World Golf ranking to see how badly his game has deteriorated. Although Woods hasn't played at all this year, as the 14-time major winner works to recuperate from his most recent back surgery, Nike's decision to abandon hard goods isn't directly related to his decline. However, that is a simple story. Nike is successful, after all, because it consistently dominates each area of the market it enters. Phil Knight's company is the biggest producer of athletic products in the world. But given that Nike Golf was founded in 1998 and only began to release clubs in 2002, that never actually happened. Although Nike spent a lot of money on its endorsement partnerships with Woods and McIlroy, who joined in 2013, those hundreds of millions of dollars didn't necessarily translate to a bigger share of the pie, at least not in the competitive equipment market. Even at the height of Tiger's success, Titleist, TaylorMade, and Callaway always outshined Nike, which never managed to gain more than a 10% market share. Sales of Nike Golf's equipment declined by 8.2% to $706 million from $769 million in the previous fiscal year. The truth is that it's difficult to not only get started in the golf equipment sector but also to hold on to your job, with launch cycles getting shorter and shorter, often with fresh turnover in just 4-6 to six months, it is extremely costly for businesses to continuously invent and produce new items. A good illustration is TaylorMade. The business announced earlier this year that it would decrease the number of new goods it released to the market while switching to lengthier product cycles after seeing decreased net sales and profitability for two years in a row. Adidas has nevertheless looked for purchases for a large portion of its golf division, including its TaylorMade and Adams clubs. A surplus of inventory resulted from the challenge of new, pricey products entering the market so quickly. Consumers would far too frequently attempt to save money by waiting until the following release, which might only be six months away. When it comes to premium equipment, club manufacturers compete for a relatively small share of golfers. The figure that's frequently thrown around is that only 20% of golfers are purchasing roughly 80% of the top-end items. In the end, Nike won't stop supporting golf. It's just leaving a division it couldn't win or even place in the top three, and its tour pros will now look for clubs elsewhere. According to Woods' agency, they are already looking. Nike Golf continues to have enormous success with its footwear and clothing. The swoosh will continue to be worn by Woods, McIlroy, Michelle Wee, and other players as long as they are still covered by contracts and are out on the course. Nike claims that it will now concentrate on developing novel shoe and apparel designs while attempting to collaborate with more of the top golfers around the globe. There won't be any more brand new Nike clubs, balls or bag even though Tiger is no longer important and Nike has pulled out of the hard goods competition. Golf isn't dying. Sometimes it's just a simple or facile narrative. 
Since golf has seen a decline in participation since its heyday, it follows that the sport is doomed. Simply put, it's untrue. Nike was one of the top golf manufacturers in the 1990s. Nike performed a fantastic job at promoting its goods and employing athletes like Tiger Woods to help the growth of its brand. It would have been difficult to find a golf store or warehouse that didn't carry Nike golf clubs. Since Nike is no longer a participant in the golf club industry, other businesses have entered and stolen Nike's market share. The business realized at this point that the golf club division was not profitable enough to continue. Nike produced incredibly durable golf clubs for many years before deciding that clubs, balls, and bags were no longer needed. At this moment, Nike sold out whatever it still possessed. However, the company kept making shoes and clothing. Many golfers were perplexed by this and believed Nike had abandoned the sport until they saw Nike clothing or footwear for sale. They simply no longer manufacture equipment, which proves that this is not the case. Nike found it simpler to partner with tour players once they shifted their approach to emphasize footwear and clothing. Before that, it was challenging to get golfers to sign up for a full equipment contract due to Nike's limited product line. Golfers are significantly more likely to sign a deal with Nike for apparel or footwear now that the apparel and footwear sides of the business are expanding. For many years, Nike was one of the top apparel manufacturers. And it was Nike that popularized the idea of athletic wear. Adidas and Under Armour have since expanded on this, but Nike was a pioneer in this and transformed what golfers look for in apparel. It's interesting to note that as soon as Nike left the golf equipment business, they began to secure contracts with several outstanding golfers for their apparel and footwear. These include athletes like Tony Finau and Brooks Koepka. These more well-known brands have helped Nike build on their initial success and strengthen their overall brand recognition on the golf course. Nike was producing golf bags, clubs, and balls when it stopped producing golf clubs. All of those durable goods items were retired. The soft things, that is, the clothing and shoes, persisted though. There are probably some Nike golf caps available for golfers as well. Their performance-oriented textiles and materials are the main area where they may benefit players. In addition to the shirts and pants, you will also notice this with the shoes. There are numerous styles and features available for Nike golf shoes. From spikeless comfort shoes to waterproof premium golf shoes, everything is available. The Nike brand should make it easy for you to find whatever you need to boost your game. The technology provided by Nike will be valued by many athletes who participate in many sports. They can purchase the shoes, clothes, and apparel that are most effective for their requirements because the firm is aware of what athletes need. Nike recently expanded their product lineup with a few new items. Gloves and 102 stand bags are among these. These lightweight stand bags are quite great. Even though they claimed to be done with the golf bag business, you can select from a variety of additional accessories, such as belts and even a water bottle. Nike will unquestionably offer products from one of its other sports brands to golfers whenever they can. On the Nike website, sunglasses are offered for purchase. They are carefully made to ensure that they do not obstruct a golfer's vision in any way. Do you believe they were praising one another for their accomplishments in eliminating a rival and maintaining market share? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. That's the end of this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.